We were asked by the uh, Iranian government for assistance. We weren't able to provide that assistance. Abraham Raisi was a brutal participant in the repression of the Iranian people for nearly four decades. He was involved in numerous horrific human rights abuses. That said, we regret any loss of life, but that doesn't change the reality of his record, both as a judge and as the president of Iran, the fact that he has blood on his hands. We were asked by the uh, Iranian government for assistance. We said that we would be willing to assist. It's something that we would do with respect to any government in this situation. Ultimately, uh, largely for logistical reasons, we weren't able to provide that assistance. Abraham Raisi was a brutal participant in the repression of the Iranian people for nearly four decades. He was involved in numerous horrific human rights abuses, including playing a key role in the extrajudicial killing of thousands of political prisoners in 1988. Um, some of the worst human rights abuses uh, occurred uh, during his tenure as president, especially the human rights abuses against the women and girls of Iran. That said, we regret any loss of life. We don't want to see anyone die in a helicopter crash. Um, but that doesn't change the reality of his record, both as a judge and as the president of Iran, the fact that he has blood on his hands. We continue to monitor the situation, but um, we don't have any uh, any insights into the cause of the of the accident uh, at this point. And certainly, I know the Iranians are investigating or will investigate, and and so we'll see what the what the outcome is once their investigation is complete. Um, in terms of uh, our force posture, I don't have any announcements to make, uh, and the United States had no part to play. Uh, in in that crash, and so and that's that's a fact, plain and simple.